Welcome back guys. So in the last video we made, um, we enabled the full launch site and we're making a switch from one theme to the next. Um, we've just enabled full launch. Um, we've added the new theme. We've uploaded an app, uh, Favicon and Google An Analytics. Uh, but right now you can see the site is a bit of a mess. So, and the slideshows are, are no longer there. Um, all the widget areas are a bit of a mess and, and it just needs a little bit of love. So don't panic, it's not gonna take too much work. Um, we'll get you there nice and quickly. So first thing uh, we always recommend doing to get some structure is go to appearance and menus and we will uh, set the main menu again. So right now you can see the menu's all out of whack. It's not what it was uh, before we launched the site. So uh, as you can see, it's actually saved here already, which is great. Um, if it's not, uh, it's just a matter of uh, recreating the menus as normal. Again, if you want a drop down menu, uh, drop it down one iteration to the right and that will create a drop down menu. So I'm just gonna go back down, uh, select primary menu from display location. And I'm just gonna hit save menu. And uh, that is going to fix the menu for us. So we'll have our menu set in place. So that's perfect. Next, we'll wanna add a logo. Um, we just we don't want to have this text description um, so we'll just go and we will go into flow themes and we will go to header uh, each theme will be different but um, every theme should have its own header settings so that will allow you to select the view of the header and allow you to upload the logo so we'll just go down and we'll upload a logo again it's always going to be best to refer to your theme documentation as to the best uh, options for this but for the cube theme and we go into flow theme header, uh, the desktop header. And we're gonna use an image logo and we are going to upload uh, the logo here. So uh, we should have one already loaded. Let me just check. I will just throw one in here and I have her resources. So I've got the logo already saved, ready to use. And um, I'm uploading it. And as soon as it's uploaded, we will just uh, select that and that will be the logo used in the navigation menu. Again, uh, in this scene, there is options for uh, the mobile uh, logo, and you can add those as well as required. So um, you can just do that, hit update, and uh, we will refresh the page. And you'll see it's starting to take some shape. So we've now got the logo added, uh, we've got the menu updated, and um, we're going in the right direction. Uh, the next thing that the check will uh, be the slideshows. So we'll head over to slideshows. And it's very possible that the format is different between uh, the older themes and the newer themes for the slideshows. So it's a good possibility you're gonna to have to re-upload images for that. So as I mentioned before, uh, prepare some images and whenever you come to do this, uh, you'll be in a very good position to just go and upload your slides. So you can see the, the existing slideshow was blank. So we're just gonna re-upload the images. So I'll click add slideshow and add images. And I've got a folder, a home slider with my images already. Um, you'll notice that in um, each theme, it's gonna be a different method, but with the newest, our newest themes were, uh, it's always the same process. Again, refer to your theme documentation for that. Um, it will cover all the details you need for uploading uh, a new slideshow. So. Uh, you can just do that. So I'm just going to upload uh, these three images. Um, um, I will select this and one final image. So we have three. It's perfect. And we've uploaded that. And then we'll just hit update. So we've updated the slideshow. If it was attached to any pages previously, it should probably show up there. So let's give it a retest and see. We have nothing on the home page right now. That's fine, um, but it will show up there as soon as we need to use it. Next thing I want to check is um, the slideshows. So I know Maggie had some slideshows here in the menu before. So I'm just going to check those and make sure they're okay. Um, you can see that they're actually fine. Uh, you may just want to review and select the options for them. So. Each theme will have its different view type options. So for example, uh, in the cube theme, we're gonna to go to the galleries, and this should be the same for all themes. You can go to galleries and then select the gallery, and then you'll be able to select the view type. So if we scroll down here, uh, we have the custom view type, the gallery view, 
Um, with other themes that will be different, again, please refer to the documentation. We cover how to upload and change your galleries. But for this, I can select the custom gallery view and I'm just going to select type B, which it is right now, which is fine. I'm just going to update that. So we've checked the galleries, we're happy with them. Um, all the images are still in there. Um, you can just check that by going to the overview and you'll see all the images. Um, just make sure they're all in there and you're happy with them. Uh, whenever you're switching the site, it's always a great time to reassess your portfolio, so I'd highly suggest doing that. So that's great. We've just uh, made sure our galleries are fine. The slideshow is great. We've re-uploaded it. And we've added a logo and we've updated the menu, so we're starting to get some shape on the site. If we have a look back on the homepage again, uh, you will see that it's a bit of a mess here down at the bottom. So um, we'll want to finally just check the widget area to make sure that all the widgets we have and are using, are they still going to be required with a the new theme? It's probably unlikely because each theme has its own widget area. So I'm just going to go to Appearance and Widgets. And I'm just going to check all the widgets. So I can see that uh, they move into positions they were before, but I'm just going to remove these because uh, it's not going to be relevant with this theme. Um, each theme has its own options, so you might as well uh, use those unique features that are available too. And uh, we're just going to take these away. So we don't need them, these in this instance. Um, if you do need them, uh, it's just a good time to move them back into whatever order you would like them to and you know, use the widget areas that are available too. Um, and again, that will just take a little bit of work, um, a little bit of plug and play, you'll be able to test. So right now, everything's looking clean. Um, we've cleaned up the site quite nicely. Um, everything's you know, looking good. It's just now a matter of going through each of the pages and uh, we will cover that in the next tutorial.